The new simulated universe update for the Swarm Disaster is finally out in Honkai Star Rail and it's absolutely amazing. So today I want to talk about why it's so great and what this is going to mean for the future of Honkai Star Rail. So starting out on why it's great, firstly it is very much an endgame mode which which is definitely good, you know, to have something besides Memory of Chaos, but also it is something that is going to take time to get through. I know people who have like really great accounts have like wailed on the game and stuff like that are still, you know, like struggling with like difficulty four, difficulty five. I was planning on making a guide for this, you know, thinking it would be like regular simulated universe in terms of difficulty, but I haven't even beaten difficulty three yet. So I'm still, you know, working my way towards that, building up my, you know, benefits and stuff like that in the swarm disaster, which honestly makes it really fun. Then also the rewards are very generous i'm pretty sure we're getting about like 4.5k seller jades from doing everything for the swarm disaster which is really nice plus also some standard banner tickets i think we're getting one of those uh self-modeling resins for the like custom make relics so definitely some very solid rewards there as well which is always nice for a mode that you know people are going to spend time on to be able to you know get those rewards for sure and then also you know, as the Honkai Star Rail has been doing when they introduce, you know, new zones and just like new content, they are introducing, you know, not only new enemies, but also just new mechanics for players to, to use. And I really do like all like the mechanics of the audience die and everything that you do with the Swarm Disaster, because instead of it going like room to room in a more like linear kind of way, like in the regular simulated universe, it's like a, yeah, it's like a, like, uh, board game kind of thing where you're like moving along tiles and the tiles can like change based on certain like events happening or certain like dice rolls that you get so it definitely is really cool to spice up the gameplay while still keeping it uh, relatively true to what Honkai Star Rail is so now I want to move on to what this could mean for the future I think it's very huge for the future because simulated universe even more so now seems to be a game mode that they're constantly going to update they, whether it be new worlds new difficulties and then kind of like the swarm disaster new like what i'm going to call dlc expansions because that's kind of what uh, swarm disaster feels like and i do think that is amazing for the game because as someone who you know played genshin for the first like year or so very consistently something i kind of you know wasn't that fond of for Genshin was the fact that like the end game was just Memory of Chaos. Not Memory of Chaos, it was uh, Spiral Abyss. And that was really it. And then, you know, I have know they've done things recently to you know, add other things to the game, but nothing on it really feels like end game content. And outside of like the TCG, which is very, you know, separated from what Genshin is, you know, originally supposed to be about with the combat, it's not as engaging for a lot of players. So I think that having something that is combat related and has all these different, you know, unique things that it does and still stays true to the fact that, you know, you do want to have your, your turn based combat and you want to, you know, fight things and progress. I do think that the simulated universe is probably going to stay my favorite game mode in Hon and not just Honkai Star Rail, but maybe even every gacha I currently play and that I've played in the past, which is absolutely crazy. And I already know like a lot of players love Simulated Universe already. And I'm sure, you know, as we get more bosses and more, you know, of those like elite enemies and whatnot, we're going to get more worlds. Like I definitely see them making another world for, you know, another boss at some point. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see whenever we get Simulated Universe World 8. And also, you know, probably in a bit more of a distant future because players are still, you know, going to be doing the Swarm Disaster for a while. Eventually they might do another DM expansion kind of like the swarm disaster is but to you know wrap it up here i am super happy that uh they're taking the route that they are for simulated universe because you know at first while i do enjoy simulated universe and you know doing the weekly rewards for it has always been fun i did you know prior to swarm disaster i was a little concerned that like the updates wouldn't be you know as big except for when the you know boss whenever they would add a new world but them adding this whole like new game mode and having it be its own thing inside of simulated universe and something you could do at any time as well is really nice and you know i feel like it's going to increase play time as well 
But yeah, let me know what you all think in the comments down below. I personally am loving the Swarm Disaster so far. I haven't been able to play it as much um, just because of, you know, being busy. But I do have a long weekend, so I'm going to try to grind out a ton of it. But yeah, with that, everyone, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But with that, I will see you all next time.